the Heavenly Father, we trust it for generous wisdom, straight paths, and peaceful hearts, all for your glory. I will praise you for being the decision making God. It's not our decision, but yours that make all the difference. We will plan, but we trust you to order our still. Guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Monday, March 25, 2024. This is Love Walk. The King you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song will never say so out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is you have no choice but to. You have no choice but to. And let me first be find the book of John 15 verse 2. I read, Every branch in me that bears not fruit, it taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purchased it, that he may bring forth more fruit. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purchased it, that he may bring more fruit. There are many people who become born again and say that they don't want to preach the gospel. They think that is as long as they don't backslide, they are fine. This is fallacy. You have joined yourself to the fine. And John 15 verse to state clearly that every branch that is joined to the fine must be a fruit. It is must to be a fruit if you want to continue to be part of the fine. Do you want to be a part of the fine? You must do the work of evangelists. Backsliding as a believer does not only really start with drawing away from God and committing sin. The first to preach the gospel is also a form of backsliding. John 15, verse 6 tells us that any branch the Father cut off is going straight into the fire. Some people will preach about unlimited grace. We finally say that once you are born again, Nothing can ever send it to hell. I disagree completely with theology. When people become born again, they become a part of the fire. Well, if they do not produce fruit, they will be cut off from the fire. When a person is cut off from the fire, he or she will dry off, and men will gather whatever is left to be thrown into the fire. That is clearly what the word of God says. So in your own interest, make sure you are bearing fruit for the most high God. Another reason you must wish so is that your prayer can be answered. John 15 verse 60 says, But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give to you. I don't know if you have observed that it appears as if God often sent the answer to the prayer of baby Christian relative promptly. You probably experienced those blunt response to your prayer when you freshly became born again. But now, does it appear as if you sometimes command mountain to move? And it seems like they refer to yield. As God change, does he no longer fulfill his promises? Why then are your answers being delayed? It just might be because you have not been winning so for God. But then, I want us to read the book of John 15, verse 1 to 16, and our Bible in one year, First Samuel 15, verse 16, our hymns in 7, I am there, O Lord, I am there, 
O Lord, our action point for today, pick up your phone and share the gospel with at least one person through a phone call, text message, or any other means. Pick up your phone and share the gospel with at least one person through a phone call, text message, or any other means. And I pray by the grace of God, you people do for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love War. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, share it around your social media, and as you are doing so, you are doing the work of God, and the good Lord will forever bless you. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. I've been away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.